Bank of Uganda in its official figures says that gold exports as in the past year increased by a whopping 360 billion shillings or a hundred million dollars even without known advanced mining sites in the country. Last year we exported 339 million dollars of gold. But when I was asking my colleagues where are the gold mines, they say, no, that's not my business. <laughs> now, ideally what we are trying to do is to, to wash it out. But it's still difficult because we don't... That's, I, I, I acknowledge that actually that's one of the main challenges we have had because we don't see where the gold is coming from. Because we don't see it in imports, that's why I'm saying that gold, our gold is woke up all of a sudden. <laughs> because all of a sudden we are seeing gold, in one year you don't know where it is coming from. We don't see it in imports, but we are seeing it in exports. So that's really a, a gold must be working somewhere. Again, this upward swing from the previous year's 2015 export returns of 700 billion shillings, but now at a trillion is equally a shocker to the Chamber of Mines and Petroleum. The amount of money that the Minister would be giving me does not indicate to appear in that amount that is being reflected by Bank of Uganda. But clearly it means that some minerals are being exported, maybe without the knowledge of the Ministry or the Department concerned. A moratorium lifted on the mining industry last year by government seems to have but only exposed several license holders as mayor speculators. We have now 124 mineral dealers who have licenses only. Out of that, 100 of them are the ones who are declaring to be exporting gold. You can imagine. Last year, the Inspectorate of Government launched an investigation on alleged tax evasion worth over 200 billion shillings by African Gold, a mineral exporting firm based in Entebbe. Its findings are yet to be made public. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.